tough 14. Um, it's hyped as the best season of the Ultimate Fighter ever. Um, I think I'd agree with that. Uh, the fights are absolutely incredible. I know everybody said this, and it's kind of like, you know, obviously we're trying to hype the season and all the rest of it, but that's not the case. The fights are absolutely incredible. Um, with the new weight classes, obviously, they're very, um, you know, they're very athletic, they're very fast. They fight at an incredibly fast pace. Um, they're very athletic, as I said. They do spinning back kicks, flying knees, flying knees you name it. You know what I mean? You, you've seen a lot of knockouts, submissions, backflips. Um, fights are incredible. Obviously, reality, it's a reality TV program. There's lots of um, the usual standard craziness in the house. Um, you know, there's definitely some things that need to be seen. As I said, a little crazy set of bastards. Um, Jason Miller is the coach. I'm obviously the other coach. Um, yeah, a bit of friction between me and Jason as well. Obviously, we all know what he's like. Jason plays up to the camera all the time. Um, he try winding me up, try getting in my face. Um, there's no love lost between us, definitely not. Um, it spilled out into some quite explosive action at times. I'm looking forward to seeing it back myself. Um, yeah, really excited, really happy with the final product. Amazing, amazing season of the Ultimate Fighter. Um, I'm proud of the job I did. My team are happy with the job I did, I think. And um, yeah, as I said, it's gonna be good. Jason tries very, very hard to be funny. And I think maybe when he's just himself a little bit more, he's not funny, he's maybe mildly amusing, or perhaps he might get like, like a little quarter of a smile out the side of your mouth at times. It doesn't actually make you laugh, but you might go, hmm, yeah, good one. Um, but he tries so hard, he tries so hard to be funny, and, and, and that's what gets on my nerves. So, um, yeah. Skills wise, level wise. Is he a threat? Is he your level? Listen, Miller's been around the game for a long, long time, you know. I'm not going to sit here and completely discredit him and say, you know, he doesn't belong in the cage with me and all this type of nonsense. You know, the, the, the guy's a respected fighter, he's been around for a long time. Um, he's definitely going to pose some problems on the night. I know he's going to train hard, and he's already training hard. Um, by the looks of it, he's going to be overtrained when it comes because, you know, um, he's training so hard already. Um, good jiu-jitsu game so you know that's something I'm gonna have to address he's gonna look to take me down um, he's got limited but somewhat effective striking throw some um, unorthodox strikes which can sometimes catch you out and be a problem um, hard to finish takes a beating well um, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing it's definitely a good thing for me and, as I say it could be a bad thing takes a beating well always seems to be in shape and um, yeah it's tough so you know do I think I'm going to win the fight yeah of course I do you know I, I think I'm a better wrestler I think I'm a better striker I'm bigger I'm stronger um, and um, equally as good on the ground I would say I've watched I've, I've watched him on the ground he's good at taking the back and, uh, and, and, and riding the back other than that I'd say that's about it he's not very effective off his back he hasn't got a particularly dangerous guard game. So, um, you know, I'm not overly concerned about that. So, uh, but yeah, looking forward to the fight and uh, obviously predicting a win for myself. I will never, ever abandon the UK. And, I, and that's certainly not the case. Fighters on the magazine. Do not insinuate such horrible, slanderous things. Um, listen. I've lived in a small little town all my life. I've lived in Clitheroe, I love it. It's a beautiful part of the country. I love England, it's a beautiful country. Um, you know, but life's for living, you know, you, you, you've, got to, you've got to spread your wings and you know, there's a big wide world out there, you know? And um, as I said, I've lived in Clitheroe my whole life. If I was to be born, raised and die there without venturing out a little bit, it'd be a shame. And I'm in a very fortunate position that, um, you know, what I do for a living, you know, I mean, I can, be, I can be located anywhere in the world as long as I turn up on the night in shape, you know, that's all that matters. So in between fights, you know, I, I can be anywhere. So um, I've kept hold of my house um, in England, 
and um, you know I, I'm, I'm not selling that I'm, I'm here at the moment promoting the ultimate fighter and I'm living back in my house I still have my roots here I still have my family here uh, for the moment I'm spending a little time out in California enjoying the sunshine um, and just enjoying a change of a change of pace a lot of people have asked me you know because I you know I have a uh, for the time being I am located in California uh, a lot of people have been quick to say you know I mean a lot of guys are moving to the States does that mean that you can't train and prepare for fights for the UFC in the UK and my answer to that is simple no it doesn't of course you can have a good career in the UFC you know uh, without blowing my own horn I feel like I've had a fantastic career in the UFC and um, you know I've done all of that in the UK I've done one training camp out of the country in the States so you know to say that you can't uh, train for and sustain a good career in the UFC based in the UK is nonsense there's fantastic gyms up and down the country there's a lot of great trainers um, contrary to popular belief there's a lot of good wrestling in this country there's good wrestling coaches and there's good wrestling practitioners so um, you know you can get the training necessary I've competed with a lot of good wrestlers and done fine so uh, you know no it doesn't mean you can't train in this country and um, that is not the reason. I mean, I'm very still, mu I'm very much still part of the Wolfslayer MMA Academy. Obviously, they're based in the UK, but they have an international flavour to them these days. Uh, operating uh, camps in various countries and whatnot. So, um, yeah, still part of the Wolfslayer, still part of the UK, but I'm just getting a bit of sunshine. Winning the belt, of course. Listen, that's what I want to do. That's what I'm here to do. Uh, I feel I can do it. Um, obviously, Anderson Silva. Rightly so, regarded best pound for pound fighter in the world. I'm a big fan, I watch him fight, I'm blown away, just like everybody else. You know, I sit up till bloody three o'clock in the morning in England to watch him fight. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm a big fan, nothing but respect. Do I want to fight him and try and kick his ass? Of course I do. That's what I want to do. We're in the same weight class and I'm a fighter. Um, you know, beat Miller, hopefully do it in style. And, you know, I, I think I've got a case for a title shot. You know, um, I was almost there once before with Dan Henderson, that was a, a title fight eliminator, everyone knows how that turned out, uh, didn't go my way and I had to work my way back up again, I feel I've done that, I'm on a good roll, I've been around the UFC a long time, I've only been stopped once, I've only been beaten once at middleweight, um, so yeah, I've got a case for the title, I feel I match up quite well with Anderson, believe it or not, you know, I, I think stylistically I've got a good style for him, so, um, and I, I guarantee I'll do a better job than what a lot of people have done lately. Anderson hasn't even been in a fight lately. You know, they, they, they haven't pressured him. They haven't, they haven't, you know, they haven't turned it into a fight. So um, the last fight Anderson had was against Charles Sonnen. And um, yeah, you know, I mean, if I get my shot, listen, it's easier said than done. I can sit here and say, oh, you know, oh, you've got to do this against Anderson. Of course, it, you can sit here and say that and hypothesize all day long. Getting in the cage and doing it to him is a completely different kettle of fish. But I feel I've earned my right to at least have my shot. Yeah, I mean, I don't know if it is an official uh, contender elimination fight, but if um, if it is, you know, I, I'm not sure I agree. You know, I mean, far, far, far be it for me to question, you know, the UFC. Uh, th th that's not what I'm doing at all. I just have my opinion. Um, you know, Charles Sonnen had his chance at the champ. Lost, put on a great performance, but lost, got tapped out. Um, got tapped out, he got finished. And then after that, subsequently, he failed his steroid test. As far as I can see, he had his chance and he blew it. Um, the other guy in the matchup, Brian Stan, no disrespect to Stan, he, um, he's, got off, he's got his UFC career off to a fantastic start. Um, he's doing fantastic, he looks great, he's finishing guys, and um, definitely looks like a contender. Only thing is, he's had three fights, and his biggest win so far is against I wiped the floor with three years ago. So, um, you know, um, I feel I deserve a shot. We'll see. I've got to beat Miller first. I've got to beat Miller. Miller's, Miller's a tough fight, so I'm not looking past Miller. Everyone's asking me about Anderson, yada, yada, yada. Listen, right now I'm focusing on Miller. If I do the business against him, which I'm planning on, then yeah, of course, I want to fight for the title. Who doesn't? Who's a contender if you don't like? Yeah, the Sonnen deserves another shot. Stan's not ready yet. Belfort's just been done. It's kind of... Well, it's me. Yeah. I'm the contender. Belfort's just been beat. Chael's just been beat. Who else? Yushin Okami's just been beat. You know. 
what we're going to do. Are they all going to keep like you know beating each other up and then having another shot at him? No, I'm the contender. Fighting December third. Want to thank all the sponsors, um, Muscle Farm, Affliction, um, any, anyone else that's supported me. Uh, obviously, follow me at Bisping on Twitter. Um, everyone who tunes in and cheers for me. Thanks for the bottom of my heart. I never, ever, ever take anything for granted. I'm still enjoying this surreal ride. And uh, yeah, that's about it, really. Hope you enjoyed the fight and you enjoyed the new season at all.